I wouldn't be able to handle it. But now if I'm up there and they hit a nerve, I swear I will fall apart. And then pictures of, of Erica Kane, demented killer, was all over the tabloids. And I will look more guilty than I did before. Look, I think we should risk calling this thing. Uh, well, no, we can't right. do that now because now they've seen me. Now they're waiting. Listen, if we don't give them something uh, now, it's going to be ten times worse than it is. No, we, we got to do something. Erica, listen to me. Granted, I was not the most eager VP you have ever hired, but one thing I do know, you are a very shrewd businesswoman. You can handle this. The public adores you. They did adore me. Until I was indicted for attempted no, murder of no, my husband. No, listen to me. They worship you. All they want is your story in your words. You will score big with the media and the masses if you just give it to them straight and honest. Come on. You're not going to let these people do this to you. Prove that Enchantment is going to stay the leader in the cosmetics industry because Erica Kane is not going to be beaten. Not by naysayers, not by a bunch of ridiculous trumped-up charges, and certainly not by a bunch of reporters who are jealous of everything that you are and have accomplished. Come on, these people think you're falling apart. You get up there and you show them what the meaning of real strength is. You make it sound so simple. Are you kidding? For you, this is only natural. Honey, we're all rooting for you. The cheering section? Honey, look, listen. You've been through much worse than this, Erica. That's true. Come on. Nobody handles the press like you do. Look, Erica, if you get up there and you feel that things are going haywire and you start to feel like maybe you don't have it under control, you just look to me for support. Or look to me. Look to any of us, because we're all in your corner. Thank you. Well, if you're ready, I think we should get this show on the road. Agreed. How do I look? Absolutely beautiful. What do you think? You look perfect. You always look perfect. Thank you. <laughs> well, then, wish me luck. Good luck, good luck. All right. <clears throat> Do you need an introduction? If I need an introduction, then they are in the wrong place. <laughs> well... No, no, no. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this on my own. Let's go, everybody. Looks like we're finally oh, ready okay. here. Good. Good. <laughs> well, good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. I'm ready for questions now. Bradley Lamb, Pine Valley Bulletin. Miss Kane, care to comment on the nature of the charges against you? Uh, more specifically, were you out to kill your husband, or weren't you? She's frozen up there. This is not going to work. Okay. We'll take over. I am here to put to rest just such speculation. I have... I have heard the rumors. I have read all the stories and heard the theories. Allow me to say, officially and for the record, I have never made any attempt to nor have I even remotely considered hurting or killing Dimitri Marek. What about the charges? They haven't been dropped. Aren't you still out on bail? Yes, I am. And I'm anxiously awaiting my day in court so that I may put all of this to rest so I may set the record straight. I would never dream of circumventing the legal system. What I am about to tell you is not some defense strategy. It is truly what happened. The night of my husband's stabbing, I was suffering from a clinically proven disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder is the after effect of a severe trauma. I certainly never wanted to make this following fact public, but I have no choice. I was raped when I was 14 years old. I will not go into the details, but it, it, was, it was devastating, and I never dealt with it properly. Rather, I tried to suppress the memories, and this proved impossible. Unfortunately, it wasn't until after the tragic accident with my husband that I realized the depth of my problem. 
And it is being, it is being treated successfully. To answer your other question, yes, I am sane. I know what I am doing. I am in complete control. I regret so much what happened. If I could, I would take back every ounce of pain that I caused the people I love. I would take it all back in one second. Has Dimitri recovered? Yes, as a matter of fact, he has been released from the hospital and, and he is looking very well. Oh, so you've seen him? Yes, we, we just spoke just before this press conference. Now, I would really like to express my gratitude to, to all of my enchantment stockholders, to our customers in particular who have just provided us with record sales worldwide. And to all my colleagues who have stood by me in such trying times. I would like indeed to express my gratitude to everyone who has stood by me, who has kept faith in me and never doubted my innocence. I am perfectly capable of running my own company. I am making all the decisions. As a matter of fact, it was suggested to me that I send a spokesperson to make a prepared statement to the press, but I refused that. I think it is much more important that the public see with their own eyes that I am still the Erica Kane they have always known. Well, I do hope that I have answered your pressing questions. And now, if you have any further questions, please, this would be the time to ask. Oh, I'm so proud of her. Uh, it seems to me that what the tight spot has been invented that your daughter can't wiggle out of. Well, Speaking I'm so of tight spots, I've got to get back to court. Alec, uh, let me go ahead and go to some good luck. Join me. Brooke's Ladies gonna and need gentlemen, it. allow me to introduce Mr. Alec McIntyre. Thank you. since I was in high school. Listen, I took you for granted, honey, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I will never do that again. Never. I will make sure that it never happens to you. Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Brooke is gone. She's out of the picture. She's going to Hawaii. And I'm staying right here. Right here to give you the love and attention that you deserve because I love you. I will spend the rest of my life making it up to you if you can just forgive me. Just please find it in your heart to forgive me once and you will never have to do it again. Trust me. How can I? How can I? I can never be sure, really sure, that Brooke is ever out of your system. That's all. I can't. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? Um, you shouldn't be out of bed, Dimitri. You just got home from the hospital a couple hours ago. You should be taking it easy. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not very good at relaxing. Maria. about this child inside. I never lied about you. Listen, this child is precious as you. 
Doesn't this baby mean as much as you and Jamie? I mean, if this baby is as much a part of me as, as you two, how could I lie to his father like that? I mean, how could I want to move so far away from my friends and my family? And... How could I do what I did to Edmund? He doesn't deserve it. And I don't know how I can live with myself these lies. I just can't stop. I can't stop. And he's right. He's right. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I've become. I hate what I... If there'd been some other way, if there'd been some other choice. You're probably not very proud of your mommy right now. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, honey. But your mommy can't lose another child. I can't go through that twice in one lifetime. I just can't. And that's why I had to do it. That's why. And Brooke just stood there. She didn't say a thing. Not a word. Not the truth, anyway. Well, that is not like Brooke. It is now. Edmund, I'm sorry. After what Tad Martin's done to her. What are you going to do? Make sure I don't lose the best thing that's ever happened to me. stock has taken a slight dip, but of course the entire market has done that. I feel very confident that it will bounce back. If not immediately, then certainly right after the trial. As far as my well, cosmetic like is like concerned, I still stand behind each and every one of them. She bounces back. As yeah, far as my company is concerned, nothing has changed. No fluorescent blue eyeshadow. <laughs> the youth cream is still working its miracle. <laughs> and our mascara is as smudge-proof as ever. Good heavens! Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it greatly. And I hope now that you realize I am not a brutal killer. I am just a woman with a vision. Will Dorian give Sloan the evidence he needs to catch her? Stay tuned for One Life to Live.